हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन ये क्वेश्चन में दिया हुआ है कंसिडर द अरेंजमेंट गिवन इन दिस फिगर बाय सम मैकेनिज्म द सेपरेशन बिटवीन द स्लिट्स एस थ्री एंड एस फोर कैन बी चेंज्ड हमारा ये जो सेपरेशन जेड है दिस इज वेरिएबल इट कैन बी चेंज्ड द इंटेंसिटी मेजर्ड एट द पॉइंट पी जो यहाँ पे हमारे सेकेंड स्क्रीन पर है विच इज एट द कॉमन परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ एस वन एंड एस थ्री when z is equal to d lambda by 2d the intensity measured is at p is going to be i and we need to find the intensity when z is equal to these three parts ye bachcho this to solve karne ke liye hum kya kar lete hain let's find the intensity in terms of z right now to do that what we have to do we know that x is equal to 2 pi uh, sorry uh, pi is equal to pi the phase difference is equal to 2 pi x the length difference divided by lambda and then we know that y the distance from the center is equal to x capital d by small d right using these two equations we can get phi is equal to substituting x from here into this equation we will get 2 pi dy divided by capital d lambda now in the figure given you can see the distance total distance is given as z so the distance from the center to s3 is going to be y so we can say that y is equal to z by 2 see bachcho तो यहाँ पे ये जो z by 2 है इसको हम यहाँ पे लिख देते हैं सो वी विल देन हैव द फाइ एज पाई डी जेड जेड बाई डी लामडा ठीक है बच्चों नाउ वंस वी हैव दिस नाउ व्हाट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन फाइंड द इंटेंसिटी एट पॉइंट पी intensity at point p now this intensity is proportional to the amplitude of the wave which is coming at point p right so there is some wave coming from s3 there is some ray coming from s4 and they will merge at point p to give some intensity i at point p now there are uh, they have given us that when z is equal to this value the intensity is going to be i so let's find the amplitude of the wave wavelength when uh, the wave when we have this uh, value of z now to find that we know that <coughs> the wavelength uh, the amplitude of the wave is going to be 2a cos phi by 2 at each of s3 and s4 so the amplitude at this point is going to be 2a cos phi by 2 right so since we have this we know the i is proportional to a square sorry so this is equal to k times the amplitude summation so we have two amplitudes at e uh, zero phase difference so we will have the summation of this so we have amplitude from s3 coming in and s4 coming in and they have zero phase difference when they come at p so they will have constructive mechanism and they will add up so then we are going to have the i at point in the intensity at point p is equal to k times 4a cos 5 by 2 whole square so this is equal to nothing but 16a square k cos square 5 by 2 theek hai bachcho ab hamare paas ye value aa gaya hai now they have said that this value when z so let's write it here when z is equal to d lambda by 2d right so d lambda by 2d so let's substitute this value into this equation and then substitute the value of phi into this equation so we will have i is equal to 16a square k cos square into phi Phi is given as two pi d, uh, sorry, 
pi dz by d lambda. So let's write pi d by d lambda. There is a by 2 over here in the equation. So let's write that as well. And then we have the value of z itself. So we have d lambda by 2d. Cancelling out the common terms, we will have the final value in the bracket as 16a square k cos square pi by 4. So, this is our value of pi by 4. Its cos of pi by 4 is nothing but 1 by root 2. But since it's squared, we will have 1 by 2. So, we have i is equal to nothing but 8a square k. This is our value of i. Now, using this equation, and this equation, which is our 16a square k, let's find out the other values of i at given a, b, and c. So let's first try for a when we have z is equal to d lambda by small d. Okay, bacho. So, this is what we can do. Our intensity, uh, intensity hoga, that is going to be 16a square k cos square pi by 2. Now, substituting that value of pi, we will have pi d times z divided by d lambda into 2, right? So, now let's substitute the value of z. We will get 16a square k cos square. Uh, z is d lambda by d. So, pi by 2 times d by d lambda times d lambda by d. So, this is our value. This cancel ho jayega, and we will have cos square pi by 2. Cos 90 is nothing but 0. So, the intensity at this point is going to be equal to 0. Okay, so, the first answer is equal to 0. Now, let's move on to the second one. Here, the intensity is going to be 16 a square k here the value of z is 3d lambda by 2d. So let's directly substitute it into this equation. So we will get cos square pi d by d lambda twice into the value of z which is 3d lambda oh, uh, capital D capital D lambda by small d. So this value uh, again cancelling out the common terms we will get uh, this equal to 16a square k cos square 3 pi by 4. Now the value of 3 pi, cos of 3 pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2. So since it's squared, we can write it as 8a square k. The value of this is going to be 1 by 2. Now 8a square k as we have already seen is nothing but i. Uh, so we derived it here. So we can write this value to be directly i. So the answer to the second one, b bit is nothing but i. See what you Now c bit check. Karte hai. Ye c bit mein hamara wapas hai 16 a square k aega cos square. The value inside is going to be pi d by 2 d lambda times the value of z, which is going to be 2 capital D lambda divided by small d. Cancelling out no common terms, again, we will have the value as 16a square k cos square of pi. Now, this cos pi, hai, this is going to be minus 1, but since it's squared, we can write it as 16a square k. Okay, so this is our value of intensity at point C. But since 8a square k is equal to i, this is going to be double of i, right? So this is 2 times 8a square k. So which is going to be equal to 2 times i. So this third bit ka answer ho gaya amara 2 times i. Okay, I hope you've understood how I've solved this question. The answers are 0, i and 2i. Thank you so much.